Hello again everyone, this is Craig again with another video and our first video on this channel is going to be about how to avoid using the transpose button. Okay, now for all you keyboardists out there, you will know what that transpose button is and it is just a shortcut in, um, in playing easier. Okay, and the transpose button for those of you who don't know is a button that you press where you are comfortable with a certain key or playing in a certain key. For example, C is the easiest key that, that everybody is accustomed to playing in, or is the easiest key that they would rather play in, and they would want to play in that, in that same key for all songs. But then not all singers are comfortable in singing the key of C. So you, you may get a, a singer who would want to sing in the key of, of C sharp, for example, or, or maybe even D. So you would press that transpose button, either minus or plus, to accommodate the key of a certain singer. If you're doing a, a praise session and you have a, a praise team leader who is accustomed, well, not accustomed, but for a certain song, that person can only sing that song in the key that it was maybe written or in a key that is that is only comfortable with their voice. So certain musicians who are not very experienced who maybe can only play in the key of C or maybe in the key of F or B flat or, what, or whatever the case may be, they may choose to play in the key of C and just press the transpose button either minus or plus to accommodate that praise team singer, okay? So we have a lot of church musicians who do that and there are advantages and disadvantages of the transpose button, okay? Now I'm going to outline a few. Even in, in jazz music, um, there are certain, I, I know certain musicians who also use the transpose button in jazz music. And there are many disadvantages and advantages to using the, the transpose button. Now I'm going to go through a few of them very quickly and then later on I'm going to go to the piano and show you how to avoid using the transpose button. So the first one is, um, well, uh, an excuse I have all the time for using the transpose button is that, you know, I don't like playing in that key. For example, the key of E, that's a very difficult key to play in. Or maybe the key of B, oh boy, that, that, that one is, is one of the biggest ones. The key of B is a, is a very difficult key to play in because of all the, the movements, the movements are so, um, out of, I mean, abnormal. So that's why you have a lot of musicians who don't like to play in the key of B. They would press the, the transpose button. I think it's minus or plus, I can't remember which one right now. But they would press the transpose button to bring it up to C. So then they would be playing in the key of C, but, but by A, it would be the key of B. All right, to match up to whoever they are playing for, all right? And uh, that is one of the excuses that I hear most of the time. Now, one of the disadvantages to, to, to using the transpose button is that it slows you down, okay? Uh, if you are playing with a band, all right, and, well, the guitar doesn't have a transpose button, the bass doesn't have a transpose button, the... Uh, the saxophone, the trumpet, these, these instruments don't have transpose buttons. And these musicians make a, a, a big effort to play in every key possible so that they can match up to, to playing with any member of their band. Right? Now, playing with a transpose key or playing, or playing with the transpose button, it slows you down as a, as a keyboardist because you would have to ask, okay, what key are you playing? So they would say, okay, I'm playing the key of B, oh, then you, you would have to put, you have to press your function key, then look for the transpose to bring it down to the key of B and still play in the key of C with your fingers and, and by air play in the key of B using the transpose button. So you would have, I mean, compared to somebody who knows how to play in the key of B just by, just by playing in the key of B naturally, as opposed to someone who plays in the key of B by pressing the transpose button 
the split second between you getting into the groove one time, okay, that would take away from the, the vibe for, for, for such a better word. Okay, so it slows you down, okay, and it, it makes you incompetent because you, you would have to be at the mercy of, of everybody else and you are behind, everybody is already in the groove and you are still not there yet because you are looking for the transfer key and you are trying to calculate in your mind, okay, how much do I have to press the transpose button to get up to the key that the other musicians are playing in? And that, that is a sticking to my side. So it slows you down. That's point number one. Point number two, let us say you are playing on a church keyboard, for example, and you are not the only keyboardist in the church. Maybe for the morning service, you have you play the morning service, and then for the afternoon service, the keyboard stays on all day, and then the key the keyboard is for the afternoon service comes, he sits at the keyboard, and he's in the wrong key because the keyboard is transposed. The transport the transpose button was used, and he's in the wrong key. Everybody is playing in C, and because he his um, keyboard was transposed to B then he will be off. So you forget to reset the transpose button to zero and it is at minus one or maybe plus one, then that also would put you to shame because that keyboardist would say, okay, he plays the transpose button, I want to play in, in, in B, but he has transposed it up to C and that slows him down also. So not only does it slow you down as a musician, it slows him down. And point number three, which is one of the most important things that I'm going to say on this video, is that what if, what if you are invited to play at a, at a church? The church doesn't have uh, an electronic keyboard. They have an organ, something like... Okay? And this, this organ doesn't have any transpose buttons, as I'm going to show you in a while and the choir leader the praise team leader is doing all of their songs in b <laughs> one of your worst keys to play in and that is the key that they practice all of their songs and you are at the mercy of them and you want to play in c that is the only key that you can play in or maybe f and you are looking for a transpose button, and lo and behold, it is nowhere to be found. Mm, sorry for you. That is why it is important to learn how to avoid using the transpose button. All right? And as I said in the next few videos, I'm going to show you some tips and tricks of how to avoid using that transpose button by just knowing how to move your fingers around, just understanding the keyboard. You just have to understand how the keyboard works and how it is designed and use that to your advantage. So this has been a video just to explain to you what are the disadvantages of using the transpose button and how to avoid using it, okay? Encouraging you to do everything that you can to avoid using the transpose button because number one, as I recap, it slows you down. Number two, it slows other people down because you have forgotten to reset the, the button to zero and that person is in wonderland because they don't know what's going on. They are play, they are trying to play in C, but because it is transposed, uh, everybody is wondering what that person is doing. And the biggest point of one, number three, you go to a church that has an organ, the organ doesn't have a transpose button, so that means you are stuck. Okay? So thanks for watching this video. Um, I, Of course, if this is the first video in a series of videos that are going to show you what can be done to avoid using the transpose button and the tips and tricks which will show you shortcuts in helping you to move away from using the transpose button. So thanks for watching again. This is Craig signing off and remember to subscribe for some more videos, for some more notifications and
some more tips and tricks on how to be a better musician, gospel, jazz, pop, you name it. Okay, the, the tips and tricks I'm going to show you are going to be so beneficial to you, you won't imagine. It, it has helped me so much. So, thanks for watching. Subscribe.